What up, what up? Welcome on in to Inside Baylor Sports, the official daily podcast of Baylor Athletics. On today's show, we congratulate and recognize Glenn Moore on winning his 900th career game for Baylor softball. We'll tell you about the latest Bear to get called up to the big leagues, plus discuss a big win for Baylor women's tennis and talk about what's trending right now on Baylor Plus. All that more coming up on the show. Don't forget, you can catch Inside Baylor Sports every weekday. You can also watch the video version for free over at BaylorPlus.com and on the Baylor Athletics YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, rate, and review the pod and follow Baylor Plus today on X, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. It's the official content network of Baylor Athletics. Thank Netflix for your Baylor Bears. Download the app on your mobile device and sign up for your free seven-day trial today at BaylorPlus.com. It's Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. Justin Hoff alongside the general manager of Baylor Plus, Edward Corrin. It's been a minute since we had you on here. It's good to see you. It's been a while. It's good to see you, too. It's good to be here. Okay, let's uh, let's begin with Baylor softball. I said at the top, 900 wins for Glenn Moore. I mean, can you imagine 900 wins? I don't care what sport you're playing. That number is uh, rather large. It is. It is. I can't even imagine. I can't. I don't even know if I've watched 900 wins of my favorite teams in my lifetime. So, just just trying to comprehend that in my brain as a coach, coaching that many wins, it's it's very impressive. So, um, let's give our flowers to to Coach Moore in that program because he's done an incredible job and continues to do so. Yeah, and Coach Moore, great guy, and he would uh, slap back at you. He did this in a recent staff meeting, and he said like how many losses he had, you know, as a joke. But oh, yeah. uh, how many losses does he have? Do we have that? Uh, I don't have it on top of my head. I know it's not 900. No, definitely. no, it's much lower than that. But hey, 900 wins. We'll focus on that part. Got a nice uh, midweek win over UTSA, two to one. And Baylor, by the way, still ranked. Been ranked all season long, number 24 in the country. But the bigger news of the night, obviously, Glenn Moore, win number 900. And a big weekend series coming up this weekend. The Texas Longhorns in Texas right now playing really, really well. They uh, got the series win over Oklahoma this past week in a top five team is Texas. And so that's a Friday matchup at Getterman. Then they travel down to Austin on Saturday and Sunday. And man, you would love to win that final for now, big 12 or final conference game. Who knows what the future looks like? Right. Uh, we're not the visionaries. You don't know what five, 10, 15, 20 years, they could be in the same conference again. But uh, for now, the final Big 12 meeting. For sure. It's a huge series and and Texas getting the the series win over Oklahoma. Not a lot of teams can can beat Oklahoma two out of three times or three out of three times. So um it'll be a battle and it's a, a huge test and a pivotal point in the season right now. Um as we inch inch closer to the end of the month, we'll see some postseason play soon and and you really want to squeeze into those top sixteen teams. So we'll see how they do and uh hopefully we can we can win a game or two. I- yeah, as of right now, number 17 in the RPI. So right there on the bubble. So wins this weekend. If you got two against Texas, that would probably propel you. Well, I wouldn't even say probably. That would for sure propel you at least in the top 15, maybe even closer to like a 12 or 13 number. So we'll see how it all shakes out this weekend. Okay, um, as we teased in the open, call up to the major leagues. Davis Wenzel, he made his major league debut last night. For the Texas Rangers, he was supposed to be the story of the night, but former Bear and current Oakland A's catcher Shane Langoliers, he stole the show. He hit not one, not two, but three home runs in the win over the world champion Texas Rangers. Here's how his third home run sounded. He swings at the first pitch. That is sent deep in the heart of Texas. Shay Langoliers, have yourself a game. A three-homer game. The Oakland A's take the lead 4-3 to three against the Texas Rangers closer. You know, I got to give Jerry some uh, some crap on that courtesy <laughs> video and audio there of NBC Sports California. Awesome course, call. Awesome yeah, great call. call. Uh, deep in the heart of Texas. Love that there. And, of course, Shay is from Keller. Originally from Portland, Oregon, but grew up in Keller, Texas, just outside of the the DFW area. But yeah, I'm going to text Jerry Hill. We know Jerry loves the Rangers, and I'm more of a Astros fan. So take that one, Jerry. A big L. That was a game-winning home run by Shea. They score four runs in that game, and he hits three home runs. 
that's pretty impressive for sure i don't have a dog in the fight i'm i'm not a huge follower of the mlb but i know a lot of a lot of people listening to this are probably rangers or astros um but i just gotta say i'm glad that uh shea was able to do that in front of some fans and it wasn't a oakland a's home game so glad glad he put on a show in in front of in front of some people i thought you were gonna say i'm glad they both teams just had fun uh no. did did the rangers have fun well i had fun i, I don't fun think i don't think players. many teams have fun when they lose to the a's these days so Correct. Is it the Oakland A's? Is it the Sacramento A's? Is it the Vegas A's? I'm confused. Which they one should call. take a triangle of those three locations and put them right in the middle. That's what they should do. And don't, Baylor fans, don't hate me for the Texas Rangers stuff, okay? I'm originally from Michigan, okay? Love the Tigers, but you can't really, they're having a decent season. You can't really love the Tigers. Lately, they're being really awful, so you have to migrate to a team and the Astros, a team that you know picked up a lot of hate, picked up a former Tiger pitcher and Justin Verlander, and they're winning a lot, you know, and had won a lot. So that's a team that, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and say it, bandwagon fan. So obviously, if you like the Astros, you can't like the Rangers. And yeah, last year was not fun, but Shane Langoliers, nonetheless, three home runs, and now five Bears are in the majors uh, right now. Shea, obviously, with the A's. Davis and Cody Bradford with the Rangers, Nick Lofton with the Kansas City Royals, and then Max Muncy with the L.A. Dodgers. By the way, Muncy, he's just 19 home runs away from 200 in his career uh, throughout MLB history. I was digging on this. There's about 350 guys in that 200 home run club in the history of MLB. So you're talking about one of, you know, I mean, top 400 home run hitters of all time yeah. that's a big deal max is legit man he's legit and he has been for a long time and he will continue to be i mean he still hits the crap out of the ball so happy for max yeah he swings for the fences but yeah that's just a that's a number and he he obviously the last three or four years has been averaging right around about 34 35 home runs so only needs 19 this year i think he'll pick that off uh, with good health sure. he'll be over 200 this year so Kudos to Max and all the Bears that are right now in the MLB. And, of course, Baylor Baseball, they were slated to play in a game on Tuesday night against top 20 Dallas Baptist, but that was canceled due to rain up there in Dallas. Lots of thunderstorms around here lately. I don't know if it's the eclipse. Well, then again, it is April. April showers, right? Right. Yeah, it's kind of getting weird vibes. You got the eclipse, and then it's just torrential downpour all day yesterday. Some hail here and there, so... I was going to ask you too, what's more impressive? This is not related to to the rain. What's more impressive, 200 MLB career home runs or 900 wins for Coach Moore? Which one, which one's more impressive to you? Who? That's that's tough. Um they're both equally impressive. And I know you're trying to get me to say something right. No. Um and they're different. I, I think you're trying different. to go apples they're like apples to oranges. Um, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's tough. I maybe say Glenn I mean, 900 Moore. wins is a lot of wins. Yeah. I think I might go with Glenn Moore because he's the all time wins leader for Baylor history. Yeah. But Max and his 200 homers when he gets there soon is not too shabby. How, how about you? I, I think I lean right in the middle there, right in the middle, but. Just, just some food for okay, thought. Okay, Edward, Edward's not even giving us an answer. That, that's a joke. That's a well, joke. You know, okay. it's hard. It's hard to win in college athletics, and it's hard to hit a home run in the MLB. Two things that I will probably have none either. Yeah, none not difficult in the MLB. The show. I, I've hit over two hundred homers in that. But oh, yeah. you play MLB the show. Yes, yes, and I'm really looking forward to. By the way, good segue. We're going to talk about Baylor Plus and talk about some football stuff. I am so excited about EA Sports College oh, yeah. Football 2025 this summer coming out in July. We don't have the exact date. There's been some rumors on X, and you can go look at them about a few dates. Throw it up there. But we're going to have some really good content um, throughout the season with uh, EA Sports uh, 2025. And I don't know if you've seen this, but I, I sent it to you. But a few years ago during COVID, we had some fun in the office, our creative team with NBA 2K. We had a legend mm -hmm. yeah. for Baylor basketball, like the legends, you know, four different teams and all the coaches. And it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. 
there's conference realignment, there's NIL, there's transfer portal. It's real. There's real players in it. Much of our players will all be in there. I mean, it is going to be a lot of fun to play that game coming in just a couple months. For sure. We might have to uh, grab the sticks and play a game. Which, uh, which player on our team are you most looking forward to playing with in the game? Are you allowed to answer that question? Because I think that's pretty cool that that the real athletes will be in it. It won't be generic number 10 playing quarterback for Baylor. Yeah, and you know this. You already know this This answer in terms of the rosters back in the day. I, I put the names, right? Back yeah. in the day. When oh, I yeah, yeah. You could go on and download all old. the rosters, yeah. Yes, but I would even at like 10 because I, I got you by a few years when they didn't that's have fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. I would send them in there. And my, you know, my mom's like, it's time for dinner. Uh, hang on, I'm finishing up uh, X team. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, who am I looking forward to? One, I hope you can alter the rankings or the, the, the ratings, I should say, the speed. So this goes off on a tangent. So I'm playing my brother probably in the late 90s, and I love the Tampa Bay Bucks and their old, like, creamsicle jerseys, right? Mm-hmm. Work done back in the day, former Florida State Seminole. I put his speed up to 99 and I'm just blowing by my brother who's like seven years older than me and should beat me. Right. And it's like, what's going on here? So if you have that ability, I'd like to add that to a player at Baylor, get him a 99 speed. I would be shocked if you were able to do that online. I'm sure you could do whatever you want offline playing, just sitting on the couch with someone. Yeah. 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 So we're going to play. We are going to play. Okay. And you are going to lose. Okay. Just so you know. So bring the box of Kleenex. You might be a, a sore loser because you're definitely going to lose. And who's the favorite player? Well, I, I think you would probably go naturally. You might go quarterback, but you know, I got a special place for Keytron Jackson. I knew that was going to be the answer. Yep. Yep. I love Keytron. me some Keytron. I think this offense is going to be great for him. He's going to have a breakout season. And so I'm going to be throwing up a lot of passes to Keytron Jackson. Big number 11 in college football, 2025. Okay. I yeah. like it. I like it. Good answer. Good answer. Keytron's Keytron's going to be really good this year. Hey, good question too. You're not too bad at this. I can get Maybe you. I should that. host a couple. A couple. Yeah, shows. you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Yeah, I like that okay. question. Of course, Edward uh, originally from Arkansas. Okay. Yes. Maybe we can uh, play some uh, Baylor, Arkansas, or we'll see. We'll maybe throw some Michigan in there. Uh, there's a few schools we will not throw in there, and if we're playing <laughs> them, we'll uh, we'll beat them badly. Whether yes. it's Baylor rivals or Michigan or Arkansas rivals. That's okay. Right. And the listeners, and they know who those schools are. We don't even need to name them. Uh, one even uh, decided to put a T H E in front of their name, which is a joke. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, okay. Uh, Baylor plus. So really exciting stuff. Hey, the kudos to you, Edwards. This came out on September 21st. So we're coming up on, I guess, six months. We just passed six months in past six months. March. If I did my math, right. Okay, so yeah, what's what's the latest here? I think, man, this platform has been great. You know, we joke about it. We don't really joke, but it's in the promo Netflix for your Baylor Bears, and it really is. It has all kinds of content, all the different teams. Obviously, you know, uh, a lot of coverage with football, men's, women's basketball. We were with those teams, but uh, how's it been so far? And what uh, what do we got going on right now on the website? It has been. Probably the busiest six months of my life. It's been incredible. It's been fun. It's been challenging. Um, but all the content that we've gotten to produce has been um, just just a lot of fun to do. It's been it's been great getting to know these teams, these coaches, um, getting integrated with the Baylor creative staff. Your staff over there has been wonderful. Um, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better situation to walk into um, to launch something like this because of the people here at Baylor. As far as content goes, uh, playing off the Netflix uh, uh, comparison, you know, we try to keep the website as fresh as possible on a daily basis. So we're always brainstorming, trying to bring you new content, um, trying to bring you stuff you just haven't seen before. Um, and right now we're in the midst of a fun interview series with former linebacker Elliot Coffey. We're, we're calling it On Campus with Elliot Coffey. We got about 12 episodes I think we're seven in, eight in um, as we're recording this. So we're releasing all of those every day up until the spring game. We've got some mic'd ups coming from spring football with all of the new coaches um, and all of a uh, few of the new transfers are in the interview series. So we're deep in spring football. Um, we've been running around with some tennis teams, 
uh, and and we're uh, we're looking forward to some some acrobatics and tumbling coverage at the nationals here at the end of the month. So we got a lot of things planned. We got some more original films planned, but I can't give any details about those yet. So if you are a Baylor Plus subscriber, stay tuned. We got some really good stuff coming uh, here in the next few months. Uh, and if you're not, go start your free trial. Check it out. You can cancel it if you want to. You're not going to want to. That's what Justin's going to say next. Uh, but yeah, we're we're uh, we're trying to to keep it rolling. And that's what you call a tease. We're just really excited about what we got coming on there. So, yes, you know, you think about, um, and I'm sure Baylor family can think about what kind of original films they would like to see. I think there's a lot of those ideas and thoughts that you're thinking right now, listeners, viewers, that you will see. Okay, so just give it some time uh, as in next year it's coming or, or maybe in the next couple months, right? Um, so I just think there's maybe. there's unlimited potential with the platform. It's really for you, the Baylor fan, and just giving you opportunities to not only live in the moment of what's going on with our teams and seeing our student athletes and getting that behind the scenes access and exclusivity and all those good things, but even going back and playing into the history and, you know, all the kind of different things because Baylor Athletics has had an incredible history and all the players that are in the pros and everything that goes in there. So, there's unlimited potential. So if you're on there, definitely want to tell your friends about it. I think uh, in year two, it's really going to take off. So, uh, you know, when you take off, when you start with something like this, there's a lot of groundwork. I mean, there's right. a lot of things you have to learn when you come to a new organization and a new school to get uh, acclimated. It takes a few months. And so I think it's been a great success so far this year. But I think next year, this thing's going to really lift off. For sure. And I appreciate the kind words. It's uh, it's been fun. Edward paid me to say that. So okay, all right, we'll keep it right. moving. He, he well, nil for Jay Hoff over here. Eh, not I will say, I said, laffy taffy, maybe thing. laffy taffy. Yeah, I can get you some laffy taffy at the end of the year after uh, after we complete the school year. I will say one more thing: the free trial. If you're not signed up, seven days, you get instant access to all of the content on there. You can binge it. You can watch it. Um, and then you might be inclined to stick around and see what else we got uh, coming. So I would definitely encourage listeners, viewers, wherever you're watching or consuming this podcast, if you're not signed up to to do so and check it out. Yeah, looking forward to it. Just developing there. So really, really new. And we have uh, some great things in store coming in the next uh, couple months and into next year, 24, 25. Okay, you mentioned the tees there, women's tennis, obviously a nice win over SMU. Women's tennis right now sitting 34th in the country, 4-2 uh, win over SMU. We had some coverage there, so if you're a women's tennis fan, you're going to be able to see some stuff coming up on Baylor. Plus, men's tennis, they're sitting right now 37th in the ITA ranking. Some big, important matches for both programs coming up these next couple of weeks. And it's that time of the year, Edward. You know, you turn into mid-April. And you think about our teams and a lot of the spring sports are moving into postseason. And that's a great opportunity for these teams. Women's golf finished third in their tournament uh, yesterday. The men's golf team, they won the Aggie Invitational at the home of the Texas A&M Aggies. And so that was a big win for them. But it's a, it's a special time of the year as you kind of finish out the academic uh, calendar. These teams got a great opportunity. For sure. And John Rothstein, he says, we sleep in May, but when you're not just basketball, we sleep in mid-June, maybe. We'll see uh, maybe late June, depending on uh, how things shake out. So we uh, we got some work to do and, and some postseason play, and I'm excited. We got we got a lot of good programs here at Baylor, and I'm just, just ready to see how things shake out this year. All right, that'll do it for today's edition of Inside Baylor Sports, a Sport & Story production. Thanks for listening. For Edward Corrin, I'm Justin Hoff. Have a great Wednesday and sick and bears.